Hi everyone. So today I'm going to talk about how I use Hydra mode in Emacs. Now I'm not going to explain in detail what Hydra mode actually does or what it is. Instead, I'm going to show you some uh, interesting, I interesting ways I use Hydra, and it might be a bit different from how other people use it, and it might be or not be the best way because uh, I think uh, some of the tricks you'll see is quite hacky. Uh, I use some of these tricks in a lot of places, uh, mostly to avoid using too much control or alt modifiers in most of my basic text editing. Um, if you are a long time Emacs user, I highly recommend looking into Hydra mode, uh, especially if maybe you're just a writer or you, most, you mostly use it for note taking. Uh, you can look at Hydra and I'm going to show you one way to use Hydra uh, in, in that context because I use it to open uh, three or four of my most uh, visited files. So I'm going to show how that one's done. Alright, so looking at this file, I'm going to show you my first Hydra which is uh, selecting uh, the current line. So all I have to do is type semicolon SS and that will select the region and if you look at the bottom you can see a series of Hydra keys or Hydra heads and depending on which head I choose it will either execute a custom function I made or maybe a built-in function or even call another Hydra. So I can kill a selected region. I can also do that again and move the text, uh, move the region up and down. I can also just copy and paste it somewhere else if I like. Or I can also duplicate uh, the current selected region. So I use that a lot usually when I'm, uh, I want to create another function that looks exactly the same almost the same, I just select the entire function and duplicate it. So uh, the great thing about Hydra mode is that uh, uh, you can still use your existing uh, shortcuts. So if I wanted to kill in uh, the default way, it will be a control A, control space, control E, control W and that would uh, kill the text and I achieve I can achieve the same thing in the Max Hydra by using a single letter K so the great thing about Hydra is because it's uh, it's transient or temporary and uh, depending on which lead key you open it opens a series of key maps and uh, uh, those key maps are powerful single keys, but they only apply when you trigger that leader uh, with that leader key So here I'm going to open a new Emacs instance. I'm going to show you how to actually uh, create a simple Hydra uh, a simple nested Hydra Which is not the way I would use it, but if you search online, this is one way they recommend on, of doing it So I'm copying this uh, boilerplate code somewhere I found online and I'm gonna duplicate this Hydra to create a child Hydra. So we have a parent Hydra that will call a child Hydra using the space bar as the leading key. So if you're wondering uh, uh, what's a leading key, it basically if you if you use if you export NeoVim before or maybe Space Max or e Doom Emacs, which is basically a framework, a beginner's framework. If you want to uh, a beginner's framework for Emacs and they usually they usually use spacebar as the leading key so uh, so but in my case uh, you'll see later on I actually use semicolon so I'm going to uh, think of a name for my uh, child Hydra I'm gonna call it my dash child dash Hydra I'm going to rename the Hydra at the bottom uh, to that Hydra 
to that name I, uh, I chose and the bottom there I'm going to create a lambda function so a lambda function is just an anonymous function and I'm going to make this function simply print the text hello there and uh, that's it So I made a mistake there, so I wanted to uh, have the lambda be called by the letter P. So in this case, I'm going to type uh, space as the leading key. So space D and P will call the lambda function. So here I've made a mistake, I'm going to tr uh, try fixing that. Uh, the child, uh, when you call the child hydra, you're supposed to put a slash body. So uh, you would call a hydra not the same way you would call a function. You would have to have put the slash body at the, uh, you would have to append it with slash body to call the hydra. So now when I type space p, uh, space dp, it calls hello there as you, as you saw at the bottom. Now here you notice I'm using global map which means that the leading key is actually a, a global key so regardless of which major mode I'm in uh, space bar will trigger uh, the hydra so I don't want that because I use uh, we use space bar for most of our writing so instead I'm going to use semicolon Uh, so if I program in C or C++, I can actually remap that to something else, maybe control semicolon or something. So we're going to look into our actual Hydra config that I did. So I actually did it very differently in that I bind it to a minor mode. So instead of uh, making a global uh, leading key, if I wanted to make it uh, triggered in only in certain major modes. So one way to do that is to uh, bind uh, a single hydra to a single minor mode and uh, a minor mode is basically uh, the difference between a minor mode and a major mode is that a minor mode you can have multiple minor modes for a single major mode so here you have this uh, 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 boilerplate code and I found this somewhere online but I'm not sure who to attribute it to because uh, the link you see and the video is actually the wrong link and I can't remember where I found this and I forgot I don't know who to attribute it to but if you see here you notice uh, the key map in the minor mode there are actually two keys semicolon and s so I'm gonna explain that later why there's two keys but uh, this boilerplate code by default is actually it's still global the minor, the minor mode is actually still global And here I'm showing you the Hydra. So you notice my Hydra is called my s Hydra, and uh, it, you can you can see all the heads defined. So I can put whatever function I want, uh, a built-in function or a custom function. So here I'm showing you uh, one more time how that actually works. So semicolon SS, I can also highlight. So one of the things that I did not show previously was actually I can do a Y and a U. So a Y would highlight that selected region and a U would unhighlight that region. So I use this trick a lot when I uh, want to highlight variables in my code. If I want to avoid uh, relying too much on autocomplete, sometimes you want to keep things simple. I'd like to just highlight the variable, especially if I'm, uh, if, especially if I'm turning off eglot. So we're going back to our Hydra mode. So you notice the name of the Hydra and the name of the minor mode 
it's almost the same so what I usually do is for my select Hydra my dash s is my chosen name and if my Hydra would be called my dash s dash Hydra and my minor mode be called my dash s dash mode but this uh, minor mode is still global so if I wanted to make it uh, uh, triggered only in certain major modes I would have to bind it to a major mode hook so again I'm also not going to explain what the hook is there are better resources online for that so first thing I do is declare it a global as nil and then I'm adding a hook as you can see at the bottom there uh, in this case I want to add it to a, a Python mode hook I uh, type my uh, the name of my minor mode so this means that uh, this minor mode is available for every time I edit a Python file uh, some of my hydras are actually done this way but most of the other ones are global so I'm not exactly sure if I'm not exactly sure if this is the best way to do this and there's probably a much easier way but I found it somewhere so I decided to use it this way So I'm going to show you now um, uh, one of the some of the some of the hydras I created and how it actually looks like when I type. So uh, one of the reasons why I chose semicolon is to avoid uh, uh, overlapping it. In case I have another function or another package I try, and maybe I want to bind it to something like Control C L using the usual modifiers Alt or Control, then I don't have to think about uh, which uh, modifier to avoid I can just bind all my hydras under semicolon and uh, you probably noticed previously in uh, a moment ago uh, there were two keys in the key map of a minor mode and the reason for this is that uh, for visiting files I have a different sort of uh, typing pattern I go semicolon semicolon two semicolons are usually if I want to visit a certain file so semicolon semicolon T will open uh, my main uh, as note to uh, for throwaway ideas semicolon semicolon N is mostly for uh, note taking on programming that is not Python related and semicolon semicolon P, P is for my Python notes and then uh, for the rest of the text editing is something like semicolon S and then I repeat S again and the reason for that is that the two keys at the beginning is actually for the minor mode and the, the second S is actually uh, defined in the Hydra so semicolon SS will select the current line and I can do a series of actions I can kill I can move it up and down so it's, uh, it's very powerful just a single key and because it's a Hydra it's temporary uh, I don't have to worry about it overwriting uh, anything else so again uh, at the bottom there there's a semicolon RR it should be R two R's I there was a typo right there and that will actually select the word and I can do the same series of actions so here I'm highlighting a word I can expand the selection highlight it highlight the word expand the selection using arrow keys and then unhighlighted using uh, U, Y, and U. So the same series of action works in all, most of my other Hydra modes. So I stick to semicolon so that if I have another idea, another file, another 
a package that is related to text editing and can just pile it on top of semicolon so I don't have to worry about overlapping uh, anytime soon since uh, so I have 24 alphabets so I got 20 or around 20 or more letters to go for any files I want to make convenient to open so you can see there are two keys and defined in the key map in the minor mode so uh, that's the only thing uh, for this video and uh, see you in the next video and thanks for watching bye